What up, peoples? Al York, Spit Off Show. Oh, man, got a lot of shit to talk about, man, but we're going to keep it short and simple, man. Salute to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Vegas, Spit All, Lower Deck to the Death. We're going to go over Major League Predictions, Divisional Series. It's four series. You got LA, Atlanta, Cleveland Astros, but today I'm taking care of Colorado, Milwaukee, Boston Yankees. But before that, I'm going to jump into that game last night, the wild card game. All I know, I put the TV on, bro. And I was like, deeper, 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 deeper. Aaron Judge, baby. Salute. All rise, baby. Two one shot out the gate. Two nothing bombers. Bombers went on to win 7-2. Silverino gave us four strong. I bullpen whole shit down. Zach Brand gave up a two-run homer to Chris Davis. It was Nathan after that. 7-2 Bombers. Salute to Oakland A's. I had a, I thought Oakland was gonna beat us, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. I love my team, but Oakland played the best baseball going into last night. Record-wise, Oakland was the hottest team in the second half. And salute to my Bronx Bombers. Y'all made my season. I mean, I'm not saying if we lose, I ain't going to be mad. But all I wanted to do was get through that wild card. Remember, we had Aaron Judge basically gone the whole second half. A lot of injuries, new manager. I'm not justifying. I'm telling y'all what I felt. We ain't getting no marquee pitchers beside J.A. Happ and Lance Lynn. And to me, they're just above mediocre, especially Happ. Lynn is probably right at mediocre. Hap is a little above mediocre, and I didn't think that we could make noise in the playoffs, but you know, I got news for y'all, man. Y'all listen to what I got to say today. Let me start with the Colorado Rockies at Milwaukee Brewers. Five-game series in a divisional series. It's not seven. It's five. So the one that wins three first, you know what I'm saying, goes to the next level. Whoever loses, go home with the Mets. So we're going to start with uh, Milwaukee and uh, Colorado, Colorado. I think both of them, they hitting is both dynamic. I mean, they got they got hitters on both teams. Let me just throw a few names out there. You know, we start with Colorado. Nolan, I, I, I don't even know how to say the nigga name. Nolan, I will let, ah, shit. Man, y'all know what the fuck I mean, man. 297, 33, 110. It's Al Young Sports. Even if I fuck up, I put it out there. I ain't worrying about it. That's how you know my shit ain't fixed up or, or premeditated and all that. Nigga, I just kick it out. I kick it, man. Then you got uh, Trevor Story, a.k.a. True Story, 291, 37, 108. Charlie Blackman, Charlie, uh, 291, 29, 70. DJ LeMatthew, 276, 15, 62. And then you got Ian Desmond, 236, 22, and 88. Now you got Jesse Aguilar for the Milwaukee Brewers, 274, 35, 108. And when I say that, I'm doing an average home runs and RBIs. Ryan Braun, 254, 2064. 64. Uh, Christian Yelich, who I think is the MVP in the National League, 326, 36, 110. You got Mus Mucasas, or Muscasas, another hard name to pronounce, 251, 28, 95. Lorenzo Kane, 308, 1028. And Travis Shaw, 241, 32, 96. These are all the hitters from both sides, but I think advantage Milwaukee on the pitching, and I like Milwaukee's relief a little better. So the pitching, uh, Cal Freeman. 17 and 7, 2.85 for Colorado. After that, you got uh, Herman Marquez, 14 and 11. And everything after that is, is, is less than mediocre, man. So basically, Colorado's going to have to out hit Milwaukee to win this series. As for the Milwaukee Brewers, they got Julian Chan Singh, 15 and 8, 3.50. Freddie Perota, 6 and 4, 4.25. But Perota's a young guy with incredible stuff. And then, you know, you got uh, you can either have Wade Miley or Gio Gonzalez. As the left-hander, I like Milwaukee. The line is minus 150. Take Milwaukee minus 150. You lay 150 to win 100, 1,500 to win 1,000. If you take Colorado, it's plus 130. 100 wins you 130. 1,000 wins you 1,300. I'm rolling with the Milwaukee Brewers, yours truly. Now we go on to the uh, Yankees and Boston series. Early in the year, I told a lot of people, for the way I seen Boston, the way they was rolling and all that, I said, Boston going to get there, man. I like what they got, man. But I seen something. I seen something. 
Yankees got hot late, man. You don't want to fuck with a team that get hot late, man. Especially the Bombers. And then when they, you insert Judge in that number two hole, then you got John Carlos, you got DD, you got Andujar, you got Torres, you got Bird. Yo, Boston does not want to play the Yankees in this series. Chris Shell might not pitch. I'm not sure till like game three or if he's out the series. I'm waiting for the news now. If Boston don't got Chris Shell, Yankees is rolling over these niggas. I'm telling you right now. Pacello ain't stopping us. David Price ain't stopping us. And whoever else they got ain't stopping us. Uh, Nathan Evaldi, he, he kind of shut us down early in the year. All right. Throw that square in there right now. See, the Yankees don't tag that cat. Now, me, my downfall with the Yankees beside a new, you know, the new manager, Judge being out. Now, Judge is back, so you could throw that out the window. But Aaron Bone still knew he made great decisions yesterday, but I just think he's going to come up short because his uh, lack of uh, experience. I think that's going to catch up to him. But um, if we could get Silverino back into form, yesterday he showed us a little glimpse. Even though he just threw four, he got in trouble, they took him out. But Silverino can step up. You got Tanaka who's going to give you what he's going to give you. He's going to, Tanaka's going to give you six innings and keep you in the game. To me, right now, the guy we need to step up, and he kind of he's been pitching good against Boston all year, is J.A. Happ. If J.A. Happ shows up in this series, I got the Yankees. Boston are favorite minus 170. You take the Yankees, it's plus 150. I'm going to take my Yankees in this series. I mean, I'm going to cheer for them in every series. But me being a professional handicap and a sports dude, I got to keep it 100. I can't give y'all my heart. I don't do that because you lose people money like that. I lose myself money like that. But I can literally see the Yankees winning this series, bro. And I'm not assuming. I think we going in right in time with this series. I think we set up perfect for them. And no Chris Sale. That is huge. Or even if Chris Sale come back and he's not 100%, that is huge for the Yankees. Because they uh, Boston needs Chris Sale at least to win a couple games. At least if they want to move on to the next series. I'm going to run with my Yankees. I love our bench. I love Brett Garner. I mean, not our bench, but the other guys I didn't mention. Brett Garner. I love our hitting. Matter of fact, let me just go through the picture real quick. Uh, Sale's a possibility. David Price, 16 and 7. Rick Porcello, 17 and 7. Nathan Avali, 6 and 7. We can tag those last three guys. Now, the hitters are sick. Mookie Betts, I love him. JD Martinez, the MVP of the um, uh, American League, I got him. X Bogart can hit. You got Benettini, he can hit. Um, Jackie Bradley's having a bad season, but I never sleep on Jackie Bradley Jr. And Rafael Devers, who actually hits good against the Yankees at the stadium. Devers lights it up over there. Now, the Yankees pitching staff, Severino, Hat, Tanaka, I mentioned that. I don't know if CC is going to be on the, on the roster for this series. Uh, I, I got to find out more information. But I hear this from John Carlos Stanton with 38 bombs, 100 RBIs. Uh, Andujar, 297, 2792. Gregorius, 268, 2786. Aaron Judge, 278 and a half a season. He hit uh, 27 home runs but only has 67 ribbies. Then you got Aaron Hicks, 248, 27, and 79. And then you got Glade Torres, 271, 24, and 77. Yo, these are two series that's going to be really good. But the Yankees is going to be way better than the Milwaukee series because you got rivals that can't stand each other. And you got hitters on both sides. I mean, it's going to get crazy when they get to the Bronx. It's going to be crazy when they go to Fenway Park. But I'm going to roll with my Yankees at plus 150 to win the series. It's not a hot bet. I just seen something that's leading me to this. Because y'all who know me, especially Esco and Espo and all the guys that know I love my Yankees, I call it like it is, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all right now, I don't think we winning it all, bro. That's not to say, like I said, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to flip. It's just me being a true speaker, man. It's like if my brother had a fight and he fought another cat and it was like a fair one and I felt my brother lost, I'm going to look dead in his face, man. And I'm going to say, yo, yo, little bro, man, I think you lost that, man. But don't worry about that, man. You, you show heart. But I think you lost the battle, man. 
That's how I gets down. Wifey buy a pair of shoes. Honey, how these shoes look? Oh, my. I'm not feeling them. Fuck you. Uh, see, now you cursing me because I'm telling you the truth. I just keeping it a buck, man. Now, this is what it is, man. I don't want to keep overkilling, man. Two series. I like Milwaukee and I like the bonus. And y'all already know what the fuck it is. Salute Al York Sports. Let's keep getting it. Let's do what we do. And I'm hoping to hear this in the whole Yankee Stadium when the Yankees are on offense. I ain't even mentioned Gary Sanchez. I ain't mentioned a lot of cats from us, man. Neil Walker, Brett Garner, Andrew McCutcheon. That's going to play a big role. Yo, we ready for the Red Sox, man. I seen something, man. So let's go get it. Yankee fans, Yankee Nation, Al York Sports. I love y'all 